my name is George Miller and I am a I'm currently a senior at Canadian Academy in Japan. To be honest, I want to do a lot with my life. Um, I I like entertaining, so I would like to just be an entertainer in general. I like rapping. I like I like just being myself. And but what I most what I really like seeing though is the smiles on people's faces when I do what I do because at the end of the day, everyone everyone needs a break, and I just that's what I'm here for. I'm here to make everyone smile. Well, this dates back to a while ago, but uh, I I was never really good at anything uh, growing up. People would actually tell me that I'm I never really played an instrument. I never really I was never academic. Uh, just I wasn't good at sports. This I wasn't I was just kind of hopeless. But then one day, uh, what I kind of realized was I was good at one thing, which was making people happy in general. I've been told that. No, I'm just kidding, okay, forget that part. But no, 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 I'll keep going, I'll keep going. Um, I'm good at making people smile. Whether I make myself look completely stupid or whatever it is, I can entertain people. And from then on, I realized that's what my duty is. Whether, whether I get somewhere with this or not, my goal, the reason I'm here on this earth is at the end of the day, to make sure that you've smiled at least once. Well, at first, I was really kind of closeted because I wasn't. I was afraid of like who I really was because it just I was afraid to be myself. But then, as soon as I started being myself and I started really getting out there, it just people like that better. And though it sometimes I don't, it doesn't work well with the authorities. And I'm just <laughs> it, 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 it's, you know, some some people don't like it. You know, some some faculty or whatever, they don't like it sometimes, but I know that I'm making, uh, I know that I'm setting a very peaceful, peaceful environment for a lot of the people around. Bad yeah, game. Okay. Past experiences. Well, being an entertainer, I've always been really into uh, the music scene, uh, more specifically rap. I've always loved rap and the hip hop and the culture. So I've always been listening, doing, going to, and <laughs> no, okay, okay. I've, so I've, I've always been like in, really into it. I've always been filming. I've always been, I've always recorded my own songs. I've always, I've always performed. I've always followed it. Before all this work at school got so hectic, I was really into performing. So I would I would often do a lot of gigs. And now it's it's really hard to get gigs in Japan. But uh, the only reason I was able to get like a lot of these performances was because I performed with uh, this hip hop group called Beats and Miso, and they took me in like a child. And <laughs> wait. And Beats and Miso took me in like a child. They they really liked my rapping. So it was a group where there was dancing, there was beatboxing, there was rapping, and there was singing. There was, there was all that cool stuff. So we we actually did a lot of shows, um, especially over the summer. We we went to clubs, performed there. We did pretty well. Uh, we had our own website. We we one time we performed at this huge beach party. We performed in front of at least four thousand people. It was uh, really nerve-wracking, but it was really cool. So I was that's a that was a good moment right there. Yeah, uh, for music, I realized there's so many musicians out there, so many rappers that it's really hard to get your name out. So I realized I kind of had to do two things to just kind of branch out in different directions. So what happened was. Part of my childhood came back, and I became myself again. And I was able to no, 
No, no, no. Okay. Uh, part of my childhood kind of came back where I was myself a lot of the time, and I was able to be myself again. So, when while rapping was the biggest hobby, it became videos became the bigger hobby, and rapping became the backup almost uh, because. Because I became, people really enjoyed watching my videos, and I was so. What I really enjoyed uh, doing was making comedic satire. Sat, sat, okay, what I really, what I really enjoyed was making uh, comedic satirical videos that where I portrayed different characters, a little, little rough edge characters. I introduced different ones as well. Um, I'm not gonna mention the name, but uh, people actually enjoy it, uh, which came to my surprise. So then I took that as a sign and I kept on doing it. And it's been about three months and I've had a rapidly growing, not quite a fan base, but it, I'm getting there, you know, and I'm, I'm proud of that. I'm, yeah. First of all, Make, making videos is just really fun because I get to do whatever I want. It's just free rules for me. Uh, but once again, uh, as I mentioned before, I really like making people happy. And I know that a lot of people, their days suck. And they come home and they're feeling tired and angry. And I personally, like, when I, when I come home and I'm tired and I've had a crappy day, nothing cheers me up better than a funny YouTube video. So what I want to do is, when people come home, I want them to see me and I want to make them smile. That's, that's what I'm here to do. I want to make them happy. So I hope I can do that as a living someday. That would be really great. It always clashes. Um, being an IB student, I have a lot of work and Coming home to work and my obligation to make videos, it's really hard. Um, because obviously, sometimes, uh, work, work is very important, but sometimes to meet the deadline that my video is due is a little more important. Sorry, school, but it's true. Um, uh, for example, I make I, I, I try to upload YouTube videos twice a week, every Wednesdays and every Sundays. And people have caught on to that pattern. So I feel really obliged to obviously release something every Wednesday and Sunday. But the problem was, one, there's too much work. Uh, two, if I was in a sport, it would be even harder. I was in rugby last semester and what happened was I would come home from rugby exhausted and on top of that I would have work and then but I knew that in the back of my mind I had to make a video and I'd just be like crap and then I ended up either not doing it or making just a really crappy video where it's obvious that I'm really tired so yeah work really does clash with uh, what I do and sometimes I'll admit my work is handed in late because I make videos. And you know what? I don't. I don't care if it clashes with work, and if if teachers judge me for it. It's. I'm still not really good at anything. I am. <laughs> I am not in any sports. The only reason I was on the rugby team was because no one joined, and I just really wanted to be on a team. I'm not good at mathematics. I'm not good at English. I am not good at any class really. But I know that this is something that people enjoy, what I do. And I know that as long as people enjoy it, that's something I'm good at. So that's how, that's how I do. Yeah, uh, in both categories actually, video making and performing live, like rapping. Uh, one time, uh, me, uh, I, I was with uh, the rap group Beats and Miso, and we performed in some some club, or it was a party or some. Okay, and, and we and we performed in some club, and there was just there was just smoke, 
and strobe lights everywhere and I sort of, I was about to get into it and I was about to rap and then I just had this huge panic attack and I was going <gasps> between every, every line and it just, it was, it was crazy and I, I didn't know what to do and I just ended up like get, be, getting out of breath and telling the crowd, I, I can't breathe. And then, so that's what happened and then I was, it wasn't a good night, but I learned from uh, from experience. Don't rap in smoky rooms and strobe lights scare the crap out of you. <laughs> and uh, I also have a lot of problems with my I also have a lot of problems with my videos. Well, not not a lot, but um, there's the problem with uh, how at first I didn't want my videos to have any association with the school, with uh, this school whatsoever. But unfortunately, uh, middle schoolers and elementary schoolers have really big mouths. And eventually, uh, the school board heard about these videos. And obviously, there, there are just some people who don't approve of uh, these videos. And it, it sort of, I felt like I had to tone it down a little, but then that would stop me from being myself. And then I realized that teachers were starting to judge me based off of those videos rather than my performance in the classroom and I felt like that was really a problem so but then I realized that what was really important was that I be myself because the more I held back from doing what I do knowing that a lot of school faculty were watching uh, the more people disliked the videos so I had to overcome that and face the fact that people were going to judge me and that what might not, that people were going to judge me and I became myself again and I was able to make videos. But those are some setbacks that I had. Um, and for example, if, if I forgot to do homework, but it wasn't even because of the videos, it was because there was just too much homework that night or my dog died or something. Uh, the teacher the teacher might have said, oh, so you have time to make stupid videos at home, but not do my homework? Sorry, no, like, that's not my problem. Well, <laughs> it is my problem, but, you know, like, you have no right, I, I feel like the teachers do not have any right to judge me based on my videos, because none of those videos have any association to the school whatsoever, and honestly, it's not my fault that kids watch it. I don't care if I'm a bad influence. I do what I do. No. <laughs> well, the most important thing would be to just always be yourself. As cliche, the, as, cliche as it sounds, um, if you're not yourself, then you can't do what you do to your full potential. You can't make it and fake it at the same time. Um, speaking from personal experience, I had a lot of I had a lot of problems uh, where I was not able to be myself. But finally, when I did, uh, there was a great benefit. Even if I had to put my dignity on the line sometimes, it was just me being me, and I was and I enjoyed doing that. And that is my way of fulfillment. So, if if you have trouble being yourself. Uh, I suggest overcoming that because it really feels good when you do.